Moms. Welcome back to our Baseball Mom Show. How you doing, Jenny? I'm good. Thick in the travel season still? Heck yes. yes. Just getting it Exciting. going. <laughs> Exciting. You know, I was thinking I kind of wanted, I don't have a lot of good advice, but I kind of wanted to share something I was talking to Cooper about and a fellow baseball mom this past weekend. Um, Cooper uh, has said to me in the past, not recently, um, he had said to me, you know, mom, I work so hard. I, my days are dedicated to getting better and um, working on my game. And I had kind of a fellow baseball mom kind of come up to me and talk to me at a game and say, you know, oh, you know, so-and-so, he's kind of in a slump. You know, he had some errors. He's not hitting like he normally does. And this is a great ball player we're talking about. And um, I kind of was talking to her about some advice that I gave Cooper. And, um, you know, I don't have a lot of good analogies. I am not, I do not claim to be great at advice, but uh, something kind of came to me when Cooper said that to me that one time. And I kind of told him, you know, something just kind of um, made me think, this is how you need to approach the game of baseball, Cooper. Baseball is like having a girlfriend that you love, but who's never gonna love you back the same way that as much, she'll never love you as much as you love her. Because we do so much, um, and when you think about it, like um, you can do, you know, you can work so, so hard, so, so hard. And I think baseball is one of, and I've actually put a lot of thought into this because, you know, I grew up playing basketball, so it's it was, it's a different mindset. But um, with basketball, I could practice for hours and practice on my shot and feel pretty confident going into the next game thinking, okay, I don't have a feel for how I'm shooting. With baseball, you can, you can be on a hitting streak. You can be feeling good, feeling tough in the cages, feeling great in pregame, and then you face a pitcher and you don't – the stuff you just can't touch, you know. Um, so I told Coop, um, you know, think of it like you're always going to love it and you're always going to make it a priority, but the girlfriend's not going to make – you a priority back. I mean, sometimes you're going to walk away from a tournament, maybe going three for 10 and 30% is not very good. But in the game of baseball, it is, you make it to the hall of fame and then we'll be with three, mm -hmm. you know, batting 300. And, um, so I tried to explain, I explained that to the mom too. Just, I think it's a good thing to keep in perspective, to be realistic about the game. Um, how hard is it on these players? I don't know if I was mentally, if I would have been mentally tough enough to play, um, the game or play softball. How hard is it to pour all this, you know, you're laying the foundation for yourself for a good future in the game, but to know every day you go out, you're probably going to be less than, uh, you're not going to, you're going to fail more than you succeed. Yep. How much of a mindset do you have to really kind of pull out of yourself and think I'm going to, you know, here it is worked really hard. Okay. You know, I, I have to accept the fact that it, I'm still going to fail more. Um, you know, to, to think about that, to think of that mentality, I mean, it's pretty fascinating that yeah. the, all, so many people love the game because you don't always love, you don't love failing, but I think it, when you walk away from this sport, um, learning more about yourself and learning to be more mentally tough. You have to be, I mean, I tell Cooper all the time, you have the physicality, but you have to have the mentality too in order to progress in the game, you know? So I think you kind of live for those moments, right? Yeah. It's those moments. You yeah. live for the highs of the moments mm -hmm. with your teammates, yes. with, you know, certain parts of the game. And I think sure. that's kind of what it is. Um, wow. Which is kind of funny, you know, speaking of those moments, um, how about those moments we had? Um, on our travel escapades again, another weekend of travel ball. Yes. Um, so much fun. Um, we had a great time in Indy. Mm -hmm. um, I think you guys said that your trip to KC was awesome. You had fun. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Grand Park in Indy, you really, that's yeah, really nice. It is so isn't fun. It? We had a great time. And what's funny is that, um, it was one of those weekends that, um, for me was extra special. Mm -hmm. I think because my, both boys, we're there at the same time, and mm -hmm. I 
don't ever have that happen. That's and amazing. it's the only time this summer that it's gonna that happen. it's gonna happen. And it was so fun. Um, so I don't know if you guys know or not, but we um, are going, you know, to give you some spill a little bit of beans at the end of the show, but some of it we're gonna kind of string you along a little bit here. But mm -hmm. um, we had a lot of fun things happen while we were there. Um, and I think that you'll enjoy kind of uh, hearing our adventures mm -hmm. and all the fun that we had. I, yeah, I know hopefully. I had a great time. Yes. <laughs> um, it's just those memories that you get when you go on these trips with mm -hmm. your fellow baseball moms, the memories you make um, with the team, with your kids, with the coach. It's just, it's so hard if you're not in this life, if you're not living that baseball life, it's <laughs> so hard to explain. But um, mm -hmm. these are great cities. I'm sure if you guys travel, um, they are both popular travel sites for uh, baseball yes. tournaments, um, but we had fun. How about things yes. for you? You guys had a great time. Yes. Yes. Um, we went to Creekside, and Creekside, I don't know why. We will, again, we've been to night a lot of nice places to play, but Creekside's like probably my favorite complex I've been to. Um, I just love it. I don't know why I love it so much, but... Um, I love going in there and seeing all the turf. I think the, the backdrops are beautiful. The, the, the fields are really nice. And, um, I don't know. I just, we went there for the first time last year and I just thought it was awesome. And, um, it, I was so excited that we were going back there and you know what? KC is an easy drive too. Um, you know what I mean? It's, it's so easy. Yeah, you yes. stay on 70 and I kind of, I kind of live for those drives because the ones where it's taking me a bunch of places, I don't know how many times. I took a wrong turn in Cincinnati and ended up on something. I mean, I just don't pay attention that off. Maybe that sounds awful. I pay attention, but I get confused <laughs> on Google Maps when I don't know where I'm at. So Casey's easy, very easy. I didn't take any wrong turns this time, so win. Um, but uh, yes, Creekside's awesome. Um, we have some video to show um, the boys when they go to certain places, Cooper's teammates, um, they, they always rank the field and rank the backdrop, rank the catcher's area, the pitcher's mound, the outfield. Um, so we had some fun with them doing um, some of those and getting their take on some of the places we played because we didn't just play at Creekside. And um, we went to Chicken and Pickle, which is fun. It was a lot different than the one out this way in St. Charles. Uh, and uh, the boys just had fun. They had a little um, pickleball tournament and, uh, uh, you know, partners partnered up and, um, so we had a lot of downtime because our first game was, um, on Thursday at five. And then the next two games on Friday and Saturday, we played, um, like at 11 and 10 and 11 in the morning. So we had a lot of downtime to do a lot of team activities, which of course, um, is just as much fun as watching baseball. You know, it's I funny. Think. We were there a couple of weeks ago with Reed's team and, mm -hmm. um, they loved it there, mm -hmm. but it was funny. They didn't really play a lot of pickleball. They did a lot more of the bags. So, oh, yeah. you know, they loved that, but the That's food was good too. and it's fun. Uh -huh. um, I also think that Creekside, one of the things I loved when we went there, they are genius to have the hotel right at the yes. opening of the fields. It's like, so the baseball moms can sleep in until like 10 minutes before game time. You don't even have to drop your kids off for pregame like warm-up. walk over there. They walk on over. You sleep. You roll out of bed, throw your hair in a messy bun, and just roll to the fields. I mean, I love that. That's genius. That's not my life, though, when I go down it's, there. We do not stay great. there, and we should. I, I'm telling – so, yeah. I mean, I always – I thought that last year and this year when I'm rolling up to the hotel, I was like, oh, that looks nice. We are going back in July, and that is you where are, we're staying. Oh, I have lucky. learned my yeah. lesson. Do you guys stay as a team or do you make your own reservation? We've done both at okay. different times. But um, when we went to Indy, mm -hmm. so that's a funny story. When we went to Indy, actually, not even on purpose, but both teams. Don't tell me they're staying in the same hotel. We stayed at awesome. the same hotel, but here's the best part. That's awesome. Because I had booked one in January, one in March, didn't realize, and I had double booked two rooms. Uh huh. When I finally, my brain caught up because, you know, work full time, have a part time gig, teach jazzercise classes, have boys go in a bunch of j different directions. I do a baseball mom podcast. I have friends. Who do you do a baseball so mom podcast with? <laughs> um, this girl, <laughs> Tiffany, I know, my kidding. friend Brian, Drew, 
and Lauren. Just joking. And, <laughs> <laughs> so I, when we, um, when I made the reservations, uh -huh. it didn't click that I'm like, oh my goodness. Wait, Jenny, hold on. You didn't know it was at the same hotel? You were well, I didn't know they were at, in Indy at the same time until oh. a few weeks ago. So when what we finally put two and two together, and I was like, we were going to be there at the same time. When I called, we had missed the cutoff, and I had to pay the cancel. No. They charged me the fee for not canceling. And I'm like, wait, oh my Jenny, goodness. wait, 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 wait. Okay, this is where they get you. Yes. When did you cancel? It was not 30 days in advance. So because but, I failed mm -hmm. to cancel 30 days, and I explained to them that um, once I turned 50, like my brain didn't work any longer. Like I, so it really wasn't um, even my fault. Yeah. And I said, could I show you my schedule? Would that help? They were not falling for any of the shenanigans. So um, I had to pay the cancellation fee. However, oh. the good news is you both my boys were in the same hotel. That was amazing. Um, but prior to us going to Indy, it was about a week before Jace was there prior to Reed and us getting there. Yeah. And he said, sent me a text and said, well, mom, Reed and his team are definitely getting kicked out of here. He said there are 10 floors and I already know that they will be running around like crazy kids. Oh. So um, everybody... Don't worry if this was what you were worried about. We did not get kicked out of the hotel. It's fine. Good. It's fine. I'm Everything so is fine. It worked out fine. We are good. Um, so no worries. It did work out. But I did lose my cancellation fee because I did not have my thinking cap on. So if you have two children that travel at the same time, always check and make sure there's no crossover, no overlap, that your kids are not in the same hotel and that you did not book two rooms um, in the same hotel mm -hmm. 30 days in advance or you will lose your cancellation fees. So that is my word of advice to you on today's episode. I love that. Okay. Heard it from her first. Yeah. I love yep. that we have Jenny in our life to kind of keep us <laughs> keep us on track, you know. It's, you know, we just kind of dealt with the same thing, not ripping on hotels or anything. But you know what? You know how they get you. And my baseball team, we just, we just dealt with this. Um, so we, in Kansas City, we had booked Wednesday through Sunday. And, you know, you go through the tournament, correct? Yep. And then stay you to play. Stay to play. And then you get your turn, you get your schedule, and you don't play till Thursday for, at 5. So all of us canceled our Wednesday night. But they still, oh, by golly, they still take your money. They took half of our deposit still. And I'm like, gosh, is it even just worth it just to go down? I mean, you know, I don't have a, I don't have to work in the summer, so I don't have to worry about you know, taking off. I'm like, gosh, is it just worth it? Should we just go down and Wednesday? But no, we, we ended up canceling it. But I mean, that's how they get you, you know? You have to stay to play. And then right. if you don't have your thinking caps on, you lose your um, refund, whatever. And then you have to pay um, a fee to get in the tournament that you paid for your kid to play in the no, tournament on the uh, team that you paid for your kid to play, but then you play to stay. But, and you cannot bring your own coolers with your own water with this, but we're not going to have any healthy choices at the concession stand. Oh. But you have to buy the concession well, stand really food, but you cannot me, bring any water into the food. And no coolers you. in there, but you have to do that. And then if you have an injury, you have to run two miles back to get ice because you couldn't bring your cooler. Don't get me Jenny. started on it. It's just too much for me to even go into right now. So, Jenny. Yes. Do you like, are you one of those people that leave the cooler in the car and then you go out to eat in between like you go to the car in between games to eat or you just go to concession stand because creekside had great food i thought well i mean what do you if it is like fall or when it's in spring and it's still chilly yeah. you can pack stuff under your sweatshirts oh, that is true. they don't really you don't or know you do some fanny packs put some stuff but when it is like 90 degrees I mean, you just eat a pretzel or something you pay if you bring in a purse, you can bring like especially if they play back to back. Like I always pack a bunch of protein bars in my bag and give them to Coop between to share with his yeah. teammates in between. But um, I do always I go up of... um, to make my point. I'm always like, "Do you have black cherry seltzer water?" And they say no, and I'm like, "But, but 
We can't bring Wait, the toilet. Wait, Jenny, do you do you... this to every concession stand? Well, I've gotten over it now, but my first few years, I did. I remember just it's Arnold. My you be... I did. It was Arnold. That it is was exactly Arnold what happened. The like Pee-wee League. But I am Jenny's over it. making her point at the concession stand. I'm These over 15 it. 15-year-old workers do not care. They probably can't even. Jenny, they can't even serve you that. No, it's about not that? alcohol. It's real oh, water. It's not. I'm it's not familiar with alcohol. Water. I'm sorry. It's water. It's the seltzer regular sorry, I'm water. A, I'm a dummy. I I know nothing about seltzers or alcohol because I'm I don't drink and I do, but not that that's a drink, but that's not, I don't even like seltzers. Like I wouldn't drink that. Well, I can't you know? drink it now anyway. So now I'm over it. You can't. I, okay, good. I burned myself out. I do have okay. to know though. I should have asked you this because I don't even know why I didn't. Mm-hmm. Did you guys go to my Favorite, favorite barbecue place in Kansas City. Did you, you know, guys you, go to Jack's Stack? No, you told me about that. <gasps> and oh no, gosh. we didn't actually. And I don't even know if I sent that. If I, oh my if goodness. I noticed the if brisket. I mentioned that. The brisket. It's the, really good. The Is the it by Creekside cl- though? No, it's I mean, not real close, but it's worth it. are we 45 minutes for a brisket? It's worth it's every worth it. single bite of it. Mm-hmm. Oh, See, that's... Yes. Uh, I should have mentioned that. Yeah. We did pizza in the hotel one night. We went chicken and pickle. and mm-hmm. Maybe next... I mean, we go, I'm sure we'll go to Creekside next year. Okay. I'll remember that. Wait, what's yes. it called? Jack Black's? Jack Stack. That, now, that sounds like a pancake place. It's yep. a, Jack it's a barbecue. Yes, it's so good. Jack Stack. It's a must. If you are in Kansas City, and if you don't know, I'm telling you, you have to go, and it's the brisket is phenomenal. Um, all the sides are good. Really, you can't go wrong with any of the sides. They are delicious. I personally like the cheesy corn and the beans. Cheesy and, corn, that sounds good. Oh, it's so good. Uh, the burnt ends. Uh, the Oh my gosh. I I feel like I want to just, do you just want to roll the KC again? Real Actually, quick? I was <laughs> just thinking about my, my mouth is watery. So good. Is it, um, is it like a chain or is it just one place? Do you know? um, I feel like they're only in KC, but don't quote me on that. But I think it's only a KC thing. But is there only one of them in KC? No, there's oh. more than one in KC. Okay, sweet. I'll look that up. Uh, yes. For next time. We one time when we were in KC, we got that and tailgated before a Monarchs game, and we tailgated mm-hmm. out with our team and then went and saw a Monarchs game. There's so many oh, things to do, it. but That's yeah, it was good. fun. That's awesome. So you know, you got to stay busy on those tournaments, especially when you have a lot of downtime. Uh, you know, the boys getting. You know what? Actually, now that they're older, I was thinking they're not as antsy as they were when they're like ten you and you're traveling. I mean, you yes. see the ten you kids run around and having fun, and, and I mean, I think it's so cute. But the boys now, I remember, um, you know, we had a, you know, one of them. Actually, I think it was my kid. Uh, last year, brought I don't know what he has. He either has an Xbox or something you play Fortnite on, and they had like a Fortnite tournament in our room. And, you know, and our, our coach had to come in and be like, okay. I mean, like, they begged him to extend curfew just so they could, con- you know, win this game. Uh, and that was, that's fun. I mean, stuff like that, like, when they're together and not on their phones. Uh, yes. You know, it's electronics. I don't care. I did care, kind of, that was in my room. And I like to go to bed at 9. And this was, like, an 11.15 thing. It's still going on. But um, it was, those type of things are fun, you know. Yes. I, I just love seeing the boys interacting. Um, and I love interacting with our baseball moms. You know, I mean, we just have such a good group and we're all very close. And um, I know with Jay starting the new team, I'm sure I'm sure all those moms are really nice. And they are. It in. is. It's fun. Like, it's just kind of one of those things um, you spend a lot of time that if you don't know a group of people at first, you're definitely going to get to know They're going to get to know so. you, Jenny, I'm sure. You have a lot of things to offer people and a lot of advice and a Sometimes lot of... Sometimes a little bit too much. I'm, I'm no, learning to, I, you know. But, no. uh, yeah, it's they're great. It's been fun. Um, so, yeah, I like awesome. I said, it's kind of just been a good time. We only have a couple of tournaments we've traveled far, you know, so far mm-hmm. this year. But, um, yeah. yeah, lots of places to go, lots of things. So, looking forward to the rest of the summer. And, yes. um Looking yes. forward to coming back and chatting more with you. Yes, absolutely. Um, so that will be fun. I do um, think that we need to encourage our viewers to make sure that they are commenting because I would love to know some of their tips, tricks yes. of all the places that we've talked about so far that we've gone to this um, summer so far. Um, mm-hmm. 
And I would love for you to make sure that you are subscribing so you don't miss yes. all of our crazy antics and um, <laughs> to share with your friends. And we would love to have more um, of our baseball peeps join us. And um, we would love to hear from you. So um, Yes, yeah. absolutely. I would love to have some of our fellow baseball moms on soon. And just to get a new perspective on things. And yes, we'll do that. Agree. We have time. But it's right now it's summer and it's about the traveling so that's right making I'm memories so excited so enjoy these videos coming up and um we'll catch you next time all right talk to you later bye oh my goodness. Oh. night one was it a success jace was wrong his brother and his friends did not get us kicked out however we have several days so stay tuned hopefully nothing bad happens gotta love the fields here at graham park really really great setup just so pretty out here excited for a whole weekend hanging out on the fields okay i'm here with 16u legacy ringy um boys how do you think the week has gone so far i think it's been really good good do you guys like the field do you like this complex it feels very nice do you guys like the downtime hanging with the team? Yeah. Are you looking forward to the whole season? Yeah. You guys like your teammates? Yeah. Good. All right. Thanks, guys, for taking the time to chat. Okay, so I wanted to do a quick review of a restaurant, um, Firebirds. We are located um, right in the parking lot here where Drury Inn is in, which is where all the teams are staying. So um, it's a thumbs up for us. It was a mom's dinner, so we didn't take the kids. But we um, loved the food. A little bit pricier, but they had delicious steaks. And so if you're wanting to do like a mom's only dinner, we would highly recommend. So if you're in Indy and you're staying in um, Drury or somewhere around there and you want to do Firebirds, it's a yes. Hey guys, just a quick check-in. We're here in Indy and I highly suggest if you're here, Brew Burgers, it is so good. They were super accommodating. They went ahead at the last minute and they got us in um, the entire team, all the parents, and they gave us a private room and it was like at a last minute. Um, a ton of different burgers, so good. Um, food was great and the price was good. So it's in Carmel. If you're here for a tournament, um, again, I would highly recommend Brew Burgers. So it was a successful stay. Um, Reed's team managed to be um, good and not get kicked out. So Jace owes his brother money. So all is good. It was a good stay. Hi, this is Tiffany from Baseball Mom Show on Youth Baseball Midwest. And we are at Chicken and Pickle in beautiful Northern Kansas City. All right, this is Cooper Demanuel. What do you say about the pickleball court? It's Chicken good. and Pickle. I haven't tasted the food yet. Um, so far, like a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10? So far, yeah. I don't know what chicken and pickle has done to you to give you a 7 out of 10. Uh, hey, Drew Weiss. All right, I really need this. What do you rate it? 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Only because we lost. Not like this. Only because you and Cooper lost. Henry Thompson, what do you, ra what do you rank chicken and pickle? 9.5. 9.5? Yeah. All right, good. All right, I'm here with the two winners that are beating everybody, Tyler Cook and Travis Hill. All right, Travis, what do you rank chicken and pickle? Uh, I'll give it a 9.5 out of 10. 9.5 out of 10, okay. I'll give it a 10 out of 10. I love it, Tyler. I love the, I love the positivity, okay? Okay, it looks like you're playing these two guys back here. Well, you, guys should have, back back <laughs> you guys should have no problem. Thank you, guys. Hello. <laughs> Tiffany here again with the Baseball Mom Show and Youth Baseball Midwest. I'm with a couple of siblings, girl sisters. Uh, this is Drew's sister and this is my daughter, Scout. Cooper's sister, Addie, what do you think so far? It's a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, you know what? Because you've got a suntan, we're in the nice sunset of KC. Yeah. And you know what, the weather's not bad. I mean, we have, it's hot, but it's like a little breeze, right? Okay, good. Scout, what do you say? It's a 10. Why do you think it's 10 out of 10? I like the new area. She likes the new area. Perfect. You heard it from them first.